It's finally time we are back with a review of the Lamborghini Revuelto. So, um, welcome back to CDT, it's your boy Ditto. Yeah, that's going to be my new intro from now on. We, we have a review of the new Lamborghini Revuelto that isn't actually new because it was in the game about a year ago. And then it got removed. They removed it because of Lambo doing Roblox and then stuff happened. So now it's back with a slightly different model. So new headlights front and back. And that's it. So before we actually start driving the car, I think I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how you spec this car without making it look like a monstrosity made by a three-year-old. So for the body, you want to look at something like this green. Green is good. You, I also like this, these oranges and sort of the reds. They look, uh, they look quite good. And then you want the interior. You want that to be black on around, but when, the, but these little sections on the seat make them match the bodywork. Very nice. And then make the wheels black and keep them standard. Red brake calipers, no. No, just don't colour the brake calipers. We we don't like them. And before we start, you know, drifting this car, reviewing it, just remember this is completely bone stock. That's standard suspension, standard engine, standard turbo, it's not us, and standard tyres. This is bone stock. This is exactly how it comes. And we're going to first start by seeing how it drifts before we start getting into... Ooh, that, that, that's promising. Oh, I completely <laughs> missed the handbrake when I tried to tap it there. So it looked quite promising. Good handling, maybe. Went on the handbrake far too early there. It seems maybe a bit grippy. Like, look at this. going to miss the handbrake again. See, I can get it in, and it goes quite well, but maybe it isn't the fastest. I keep missing the handbrake. There we go. It seems to do it quite well. Maybe not the longest of slides, but certainly easy to recover, and it handles quite nicely. Bit too much angle on the entry though, so sort of keep it to about below 100 miles an hour. And we're going to start by doing the city race. Because that's the one I'm going to start with. And I'm the rule around here. Fuck you all. Oh, there's a McLaren Senna here. This should actually provide a good rival because the Senna is here. 207 miles an hour to the... So this one's 210, 8 handling, so this one's 8 points. In fact, it has a really good handling rating. Surprisingly good, actually. I wasn't expecting it to be that good. Oh, for... oh yes. <sighs> Nearly. Right. Look at the, look at the medals on there. First corner. Ooh, looks quite stable. Really stable, actually. Look at it. Goes quite well, actually. Quite fast. 160. Let's see if we can go through this flat. Yes, we can. Maybe a little bit of disruption in the curbs. The back end did come out when I hit the apex, but, you know, that's to be expected of a long and low... I completely... Right, you, you, you can't take that flat. Handles really well, actually. I wasn't expecting it to handle this well. 8.7 hours. Oh, Jesus. Nearly. Nearly got myself um, into an accident there. Very fast. Looks to be monstering the Senna. Where is the Senna? Oh, following me. In a revuelto. It's quite funny, actually. Yeah, you see, that corner there, the back end will come out. If you curb it, I mean. Oh, look at him! He just completely missed that corner! <laughs> oh, God. It actually has an interior that I 
I pressed the handbrake. Why did I press the handbrake? Completely ruined the lap. I'm an idiot. Sorry about that, Lambo fans. Looked like probably cost me about five seconds. Still a quite an impressive lap time. Forty seven point six is not to be sniffed at. Low speed handling, it seems, is very good on this car. And yeah, that was a little three sixty because I'm an idiot. Here, yeah, look. This, this that's a standard um spec Revuel tire, so it's still got the dark grey wheels and a slightly less vibrant orange bodywork. Oh yeah, this car has active aero, so when you get in it, the spoiler comes up at the back. Very cool. I love the way this car looks, actually, but I do prefer the original model. But obviously they can't use it, otherwise Lambo's going to be like, oh, No! Yeah, isn't it funny how it's Lambo that's suing Roblox and not Ferrari, despite the fact that Ferrari's... Oh, that's a tuned engine, if ever I've seen one. It would be a good idea to see if he's actually, no, maybe not a better driver than me, but see if the chassis can handle the extra power compared to mine. I'm not going to take any shortcuts. That wasn't a shortcut. <laughs> oh. oh, God, look how minute the acceleration up here is. It peters out around 140 miles an hour and just won't move. Really slow. Like, come on, I expect better from you. It's actually more realistic, though, to be fair. Because most cars don't usually just accelerate like a bomb up until their top speed, then hit it like a brick wall. They do tend to, to sort of s slow down in acceleration the faster they're going, so... It's realistic, but it's annoying in a game like this, because this game is not realistic. Like with my monster truck. Yeah, I've been having fun with the monster truck. Might show you some funny moments, if I can put them together in a comp- has he, has he missed the checkpoint? No, that was a different Revuelto. Honestly, everyone seems to be in Revueltos now. No one's giving any appreciation for the Cyan. I've been driving the Cyan, actually, a little bit. Just to quickly test it before tomorrow's video. Not bad. Not bad. Anyway, the, the it's not really a good way of handle of showing this car's high speed performance because it's it's so damn slow. Like, move it. Go faster. I don't think we're gonna be able to hit the top speed at all. Maybe with a turbo on this, the racing turbo, this would be good, but it's just rubbish. Come on! Okay, so it's quite obvious that this car is not designed to be a high-speed GT. As evidenced by the fact it hasn't been able to go over 200 miles an hour at all this race. God, it's so slow. Jeez, what's up with that? We're going to need to try this out in the mountains. Mountains will be interesting, actually, because they have several long straights, which should be interesting. <laughs> what the heck? Why did I go flying like that? Oh my goodness. Okay, maybe this car is a bit glitchy. Oh yeah, I haven't shown you the alignment. Standard alignment. See? Bone stock. So from so far what we've seen is um it's it's good in the city, you know. But it's not good at high speed, so it's sort of like a 100 mile an hour car. Do it on a tight, twisty circuit rather than a big, long one that's got lots of straights. wonder how it'll do in the half mile drag race when we get to that at the end of the video. Oh god, it's already... See? Did you see that? It, 
it's stopping at 160 pretty much. It hits a wall. It, it, oof. Cutting that fine to the rock there. Lift through there. It's not, it's really good in the corners actually, but it just needs more oomph. Who ever heard of an underpowered Lambo? Not those people that are making the 1200. What? Yeah, this car is definitely glitchy. We're, we're going to need to try that one again. We will, we will absolutely need to try that again. Oh yeah, just remembering, we we need to um, mention the actual name for this car, because this is not apparently the Lamborghini Revuelta. It's nothing like it, just a stop lawsuit to a Lamborghini. It's the Makina Ravella. Anyway, fun fact, um, Lamborghini has gone through three different name changes, when I've been around at least. In the game, before they got removed, Velatoro, and then before that, they were something else, which I mentioned in the previous video. I think that was when I just like you know showed up, showcased the update on Saturday, and I would say yesterday's video, but no one will have seen it yesterday because for some reason it was set to private. Which I only realised today. So, sorry about yesterday, everyone. But that was my bad. I did wonder why it wasn't getting any views. And speaking of views, hello viewer. Thank you for watching me and clicking onto my humble video. If you like it, then subscribe. And like the video. And if you don't like it, screw you. I'm kidding. I am kidding. But you Please believe me. Oh, is that a twitch of the tail then? Twitch of the tail as we jump over the little bridge. Okay, this is where we're going to struggle for time. The high speed sections, because this Lambo is not high. Look, there we go, finally into 8th gear. You took your sweet, sweet time. I was going to say something else, but PG and all that. 190, brake, turn in. Fuck. <laughs> Are you kidding me? I'm really messing up with this review. Honestly, I try and make it so that they're one take wonders and this is just my honest reactions I develop in the car. I only tested the Sian out quickly just to see if I could drift it. Okay, 139, which even with a crash is quite impressive. No, it isn't. No, no it isn't. Okay, I'm not, I'm not pressing. What, why did it do that? Anyway. We have one last race to do, and it's the circuit. This should be where the Lamborghini plays well, because... See, the moment it changes into 7th, all the power goes. It, 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 it's like it's got funny gear ratios. Like, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, they're, they're perfect. Don't change them. Seven's longer than my... Anyway. I'll, I'll leave that one up to you to decide what I meant. Anyway. I need to stop saying anyway. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> we have the circuit race now. I just put my fingers all over the microphone, which caused a whole lot of disturbance for the people watching. Sorry about that. Let's um, go and do the circuit race. Woo. This should set a good lap time, but where it is going to lose time is this massive straight here. Like, how long is it? Quarter of a mile? That, that's that's pretty impressive, considering this game's scale. It's all like the malls on straight at Le Mans. What a gorgeous car this is. Oh, it has flames on the exhaust. Very cool. I came through that first corner without lifting. Ruined the second corner, though. There we go. Flat through there. 
lift, turn in, etc. Through petrifier. Petrifier, no problem in this because it has no top end speed. Seriously, make it faster. Oh, no, wait, because I can do that, but I'm testing this car stock. I'll leave it up to you to, you know, work out for yourself what it is like tuned. Unless you subscribe and then comment that you want me to do it, in which case, sure, I'll do it. Anyway, it doesn't look like we're on for a good time here. I did just hit the ball, but that's not the point. The point is that... Very wide through these two. <laughs> The point is that it needs more speed. So slow. Like, I could understand it in a bottom end of class 2 car. Top end of class what? That was rubbish. Bottom end of class 2, top end of class 1. But in a car like this, you know, middle top of class 3. Needs to do better. I am rubbish at driving. Because I'm expecting it to have worse handling, I'm expecting it to have the average handling of its class, but it I, it doesn't, it's better. Oh, when it brake, bre when I brake, the little wing pops up, I've only just realised that. I noticed that on the Veyron when I was driving it around yesterday, please. I was praising you for having good handling, but you're, you're not showing it, look. There we go, wing pops up, I'm on the slant again. I have a cold and I can't be asked for this. 40 second, that, that really isn't good. Okay, I think this car's a bit of an L, unfortunately. Maybe when it's tuned, it's actually really good, but when it's standard, it just isn't. Something to behold to look at, though. It's really nice. Stop. Ah, there we go. This is probably going to be short. If we get below a 13 second on this half mile, I'm genuinely going to give this car a W. But we won't. I, I just know we won't. Jesus Christ. I'm not going to beat the Regera. Regera has amazing acceleration. And a shit wing on that one. Like, why, why is it so rubbish? Oh my god, it accelerates faster than a Regera? Oh, wait, never mind. Look at this. So slow. See? 13.265. See? It's an L. And, and that, that is just it. At least it handles, like, drifting-wise. Handles quite nicely. But, really? This is not the return of Lambo I was hoping for. And I'm really sad about that. I was so happy when Lambo's returned and then, oh god, doesn't even hand, drift properly anymore. I hope the Sian's good because this, this is not, this is not good in the slightest. I, I was happy when I first drove this car and then I've just fallen out of love with it. Sorry, Revolto. You were good originally, but now you're bad. So, um, I suppose, thanks for watching. If you want to see me review the Cyan, I'm going to do it anyway, but, you know, subscribe and everything. And, um, I'll see you tomorrow with the Cyan. Goodbye.